Dear friends and colleagues, I'd like to welcome you and thank you for coming to my senior recital. The first piece on the program will be George Philip Telemann's Flute Fantasy Number no. 10 in A minor. I hope you enjoy. <laughs> Thank you. 
especially for flute um, and really any unaccompanied music of the Baroque era. Um, it was really a goal of mine to lean in to the unaccompanied and electronic aspect of this recital as it cannot really happen with live accompaniment as I was imagining of my senior recital. Um, so I'm really excited to include things like the Telemann. But one really exciting exception to that rule um, will be this next piece that I'll perform, La Petite Suzanne by Arthur Pryor. I'll be playing it with my accompanist on piano, Matthew Tong, um, who's really been a joy to work with at UCLA. Um, I really hope you enjoy La Petite Suzanne for trombone and piano. <laughs> Thank 
Petite Suzanne by Arthur Pryor. I really love the tune of that piece. I've always had it kind of in my head and it was really such a joy to be able to finally perform it. Um, and I'm really happy with how um, being able to perform it distanced still um, was able to happen. The next piece on my program will also be an exception to my rule about having unaccompanied pieces on this recital. And it will be a duet with my friend, bass trombonist extraordinaire, Rose Doyle Mason. Um, Rose actually drove all the way down from Los Angeles to San Diego, um, to my hometown, to, to record this duet with me. Um, we're playing two preludes by Dmitry Shostakovich of his set of 24 preludes for piano. A really great trombonist, a bass trombonist actually, Doug Yo arrange these and they're they're really precious they're really beautiful a lot of fun to play um, and uh, this was just so much fun to do um, so here's me and Rose playing two preludes by Dmitry Shostakovich Thank you. 
shout out to Rose. I'm so happy we got to do that. I've really been craving the opportunity to play chamber music with another musician um, in a live setting. Um, I'm so happy we got to do it in a distanced and safe way as well. Um, so uh, we are about at the halfway point of the recital. I'm really excited to share this second half with you. Um, we'll be kicking off the second half with the piece that I might be uh, really the most excited about which is Pond by Abby Conant and William Osborne. Abby Conant is really a big inspiration to me. Um, she's a fabulous trombone player. Uh, she famously had a job in the Munich Philharmonic um, and actually um, faced discrimination in the orchestra and won a 14 year long court case um, over her discrimination. And since then she's devoted herself to teaching trombone and to doing activism through her musical theater works for trombone. Um, so her, her pieces really, I couldn't recommend them enough to, to check them out, um, hear what she has to say, um, especially if you have any sort of a hand in classical music, they're, they're really, really important to consider. And Pond um, is the work of theirs that I'm gonna play today. I had so much fun with it. I actually got the chance um, to meet up with my friend, Jack Spitzer, um, who does photography and videography. Um, Jack and I went to a local pond right by my house to record myself playing this piece. And I do have to share before I get started a story of recording it. Um, uh, in Abby's program notes, she talks about the different sounds um, when, when she plays this piece um, and the inspirations for writing it. And it's supposed to sound like a Japanese flute for part of the piece. And uh, parts of the piece are supposed to sound like actual animals you might hear in a pond. And there's a specific part that's referencing a, a bullfrog. Um, and as I was playing this during one of our takes, I hear this uh, really uh, deep pitched, um, really slow uh, sound coming from the pond. Um, and it sounded exactly like what I was playing. And the bullfrog was singing along with me as I was playing pond. Um, this is a really special piece to me and I hope you enjoy. Thank you. 
Hope you enjoyed Pond by Abby Conant and William Osborne. 
it was such a treat to be able to play that and discover all the special techniques and, and special sounds in there. Uh, I am sad to let you guys know that we are coming up on the last piece in the program. Um, but before I go ahead and introduce that, I want to take the opportunity to say a few thank yous. Uh, first and foremost, I want to thank James Miller, my private instructor at UCLA. You've taught me so much in my time here, um, prepared me to leave UCLA and go forward um, to be a successful trombone player. Um, you've helped me navigate my time at this school so much better. And I'm really, really so grateful to call you a teacher and a mentor to me. I also want to thank all of the other really great uh, staff and faculty that I've had the chance to work with at UCLA. To the trombone studio, I'm really going to miss uh, scale tests with you guys and songs for memory. I know I can call you the friends of my youth uh, for forever. Um, I do want to give a big shout out to Monica Brass um, and uh, both incarnations that I've been a part of, of the Gluck Brass Quintet. Uh, I've, I've really, really loved playing music with you guys so, so much. It's been so special. Um, I also want to give a big shout out to all of my roommates, um, past and present. A special shout out to Simon Kapler, who's been my roommate for three years. It really has been a special time living together. I want to thank all of my friends that I've made at UCLA. I really hope we can stay in touch. Um, I really want to give a big shout out um, to the friends that I know I can call anytime I need them. Um, and a, so a big shout out to Kimiko, to Chris, and to Rose. I want to thank my mom and my dad for loving me unconditionally um, and for being there for me. I know I would not um, have the chance to do any of this without them. Um, I want to thank my sisters, Mia and Katie, and I want to thank my brother-in-law, Todd, um, and I also want to give a really huge shout out to my two nieces, Lily and Penny. Uh, you two put such a smile on my face every time I see you or FaceTime you or hear your voice. Um, you two are just very, very special to me. And one big shout out to um, uh, someone I've gotten to know a lot better actually since the quarantine, and that is my movement coach and friend, Suka Gildart. Suka is on faculty at UCLA, um, and if you're a student there, I, I think everyone needs to take her class, Body as Instrument. Um, it really is, um, uh, she's such a, a person you want to get to know, um, and she'll get you in touch with her body, with your body. Your, uh, her class is really amazing. Um, Suka actually uh, was able to collaborate with me a good amount on this upcoming piece, T-Rex. Um, so I've, I've played this piece before. Um, it was a big uh, to do my second year of college. Uh, it was a big event um, and it was, uh, it was a big undertaking um, and a lot of fun to put together. And this year it's been the exact same and I'm excited to introduce a movement element to this piece that's already a dance and a celebration. Um, so I wanna thank all the dancers, specifically my new friends, Mia McClinton and Eric Oshimada. Um, I, I really think you guys did really brilliant work. Um, and also to all my friends that I got to have fun and dance with, this, with me this week while I was able to create this recital. Um, it really was a special time. Thank you everyone who is watching this. Um, it really means a lot to me. I hope we can connect. Please reach out. And I really hope you enjoy T-Rex by Mark Phillips.
Thank <laughs> you. 